okay for splitting live oak I'm using a 12 pound sledgehammer conventional old style wedge is fair this newer one that's a wedge with a slight twist is seems to be the best trick and this weird gizmo here is totally useless on the live oak I'm trying to split it just pops out of there this tends to go in and is a wedge and also has a twist to it which tends to split it apart here's a bunch I just split apart with the wedge took three wedges to split this piece apart here's a piece of log it's about 15 to 16 inches in diameter here it's about 14 here it's about 14 to split one of these uh, generally takes about three to four wedges you can drive the metal wedges flush and then it'll still hold together at the bottom and then I have to put the wooden wedge through to split it apart these are basically almost impossible to split that's live oak this is a wooden wedge made out of live oak that I use to drive down in here once I've got two three wedges in there because you can put sometimes two three wedges in there it'll still be stuck together on a large log and so I've got a giant wooden wedge I put in here to separate that out and that's live oak it gets torn up with time but uh, this one I can split with probably two wedges the ones that are about a foot in diameter or bigger you can put three wedges in there and it still won't separate so once it's all spread apart I put a big wedge in there like this out of wood just to split it down in here because you can drive these to where you can't even drive them anymore yeah I'm splitting some live oak here it's all heartwood really hard you can drive the wedge completely in here and it's still held together so you gotta generally get two three wedges just to split this apart this is the fun part it's still holding on down here put two wedges in here put a third one in live oak and these pieces here are seven nine ten all those are generally split up before I burn them up these little pieces like here tend to rot out real quick but these, this is all heartwood here so it's fairly uh, rot resistant